This Five on Your Side Sports Report is sponsored by Telly Tire and Auto Centers, driving your way since 1942. There is a very real chance that both the Stanley Cup and Larry O'Brien trophies will take a vacation to St. Louis this summer. One Chaminade kid, Matthew Kachuk, can win it all on the ice tomorrow. The other, Jason Tatum, well, he could do it tonight on the court in Dallas. But it became very clear very early tonight in Dallas. Tonight was not the night for Tatum and the Celtics. The Mavericks were not getting swept. Luka Doncic, he went off for 29 points. Dallas held Tatum to just 15. The Mavs absolutely obliterate the Celtics 122 to 84 to force a game five back in Boston on Monday. Swing and a drive, hit high in the air toward left. Hep is back at the Ivy, and it's gone. A classic game at Wrigley Field between the Cardinals and the Cubs. Now, of course, I love our own Bush Stadium with all my heart, but there is something special about Cardinals Cubs at Wrigley Field. Feels like anything can happen. And today added another memorable chapter to this classic rivalry. Well, they call it the Windy City, and it lived up to that name today. Look at those flags. Remember that win. Kyle Gibson was in control for the card. Seven innings, two hits, six strikeouts, no runs. Some great defense behind him as well. Nolan Gorman, jump throw. He's out. Scoreless game in the seventh. Top eight now. Tie game at Wrigley. And what a place for your first career home run. Pedro Pajes just sneaks it over the wall. What a moment. One nothing cards. His parents were in attendance. Cubs threaten to tie it in the bottom half. But here comes Gorman's defense again. He's out at home. Later in that same inning, Patrick Wisdom tees off. Looks like a 2-1 lead for the Cubs. But remember that wind. He's out. The ball was hit 111 miles per hour. Had a 970 expected batting average. Not today, though. Cards got a couple insurance runs, and Ryan Helsley saved his MLB leading 23rd game for a 3 0 winner. The Cards conquered the Cubs and the win, and they're back to 500 on the season. The win was crazy. I hit it pretty well. I was hoping it did, and it got stuck right out. That ball was hammered. Um, so, no, I appreciated the win today. Yeah. You know, there's a lot to like here. You know, we can, I don't know how much time we have, obviously, but um, you know, this group's been a really fun group. You know, it's a group that um, didn't get too down on ourselves early. You know, I think that's something that this group does really well. You know, we try to make sure we stay together. This Five on Your Side St. Louis City SC coverage is sponsored by Together Credit Union. City SC heads down to Dallas tomorrow, looking to finally break back into the win column. It has been over a month since they won a game. Dallas has had a rough go this year, and they are four points behind City in the standings. This past week, they fired their coach, and City knows that could lead to a fired-up opponent. You almost forget the X's and O's and, and the tactical match plan because they're going to come with a bump um, and energy and, and uh, a renewed belief. And yeah, we are going to have to expect a, a buzz in, in the Dallas outfit. You know, we're going to have to expect the best, um, and of which we've played some really good teams, and I think we've uh, adequately uh, prepared for. Yesterday, we found out Alexander Steen is the GM in training for the St. Louis Blues. That'll happen in two years. But for the past year, he's been a development consultant, working mostly with the Blues' European prospects. There are exciting names in that group, like Dalibor Dvorsky, Theo Lindstein, and Otto Stenberg. I asked Steen about this talented crop coming through. The biggest thing, I think, is the hunger these guys have and, and the excitement that they have. Um, dedication. They're all dedicated. and hard-working kids. I would say the one thing I'm probably most proud of those kids for this year was the, uh, the resiliency they showed throughout some, some difficult times and um, you know that, that shows the character of them. Round two at the U.S. Open at Pinehurst, Ludwig Oberg leads the field at five under, but I have to talk about the shot of the day. Francesco Molinari has to make a hole-in-one on his final hole of the day to make the cut for the weekend. I think you know where this is going. He sinks it. A walk-off ace to make the weekend. Don't think I've ever seen that before. Here's hoping we get some more fireworks the next two days. Right here on Five on Your Side as yes. the U.S. Open wraps up. Beautiful shot. <laughs> All right, thanks, Corey. A celebration of pride.